Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here uh, with a Dude Fix My Base uh, series. Um, finally picking this series up, I got a few submissions that I want to get through. Uh, it'll just be the one base this episode though. And this base comes from uh, Siva, uh, S E V A. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. And maybe it's Seva. And Siva had four main problems uh, heat. He said his base was cooking. He was uh, starting to run out of food, was problem number two. Problem number three was power. He, he seemed to be running out of natural gas and was worried about power. And then fourth problem was he didn't really, uh, he wasn't able to kind of automate a lot of stuff. So we're going to kind of take a look at this base, uh, go through over some of the overlays and systems and figure out how to potentially fix things in uh, one hour or less. Now I did have a quick look over and I did notice some, some big problems right away. Uh, let's just check. Uh, maybe automation first because I noticed he does he has some natural gas generators here, but there's no automation There's no smart battery, which kind of means that all the um, All the natural gas is just gonna get burned off no matter what so it looked like he tried to control it through Turning these on and off, but that's not gonna really work long term So we're gonna fix that um, Another thing I noticed is that there's heavy watt wire throughout the base which uh, is kind of a problem because if you check decor uh, decor is really really bad from all this heavy watt wire and if we look at kind of the dupes uh, morale we can see we'll often see uh, last cycles decor ugly minus one so if we can get the decor going uh, better we can probably get their morale up because i see some of the dupes are stressed out here we've got four three dupes over um 40 percent so that's the thing one thing i want to fix the rooms are pretty good we got lots of uh established rooms we got bedrooms we got washrooms uh, we got a great hall, so they're getting bonuses for all these, which is good. Um, the base is pretty pretty spread out, and it is hot. If we put on the temperature overlay, we can see there's uh, the base is generally around 40 degrees. The one growing room here is a little bit uh, cooler, which is nice to keep the food alive. Otherwise, it would not be growing. Oh, uh, we got this super hot room over here. I think he was trying to make steam for his rocket. And we got some a copper volcano in here heating all this up. There's also a volcano down here. And it's really hot in here. 143 degrees. I'm not sure if this is if the lava is actually getting out of here. It looks like it probably is. So we probably want to cap that off. Unless we actually wanted to use it to make steam. But my recommendation at this point would be to cancel all these orders. And worry about the basics first. So we're going to cancel some of these orders here. He was building a pipe up to this uh, rocket here. We're not going to tackle that this episode. We're just going to get uh, food under control, heat under control, and hopefully morale under control. So another problem I found was here. So he's got two main water tanks. I think he's kind of treating this as his dirty water tank. And he's got some pipe coming up here, and it goes through a filter, and then the dirty water goes into a sieve. And then it kind of wraps around and the filtered water gets goes all the way through here and gets dumped in the secondary tank. So he's got tons of water. Water is not an issue. Um, but I did notice there's some interesting things going on here. So he's got some radiant pipe. So he's got water coming out of here at 46 degrees. And it's insulated all the way until it gets into this cold biome and then it turns to radiant pipe. So he's using the cold biome to cool his water and then it comes back at a nice 20... Actually, by the time it gets here, it's at 16 degrees, which is nice and cool. And he could actually use this to cool his base, but it's going down here and it's going into this hot water tank through more radiant pipe, and then it's just heating up again. So I have a feeling this used to be cool and and maybe it wasn't an issue, but now it is. So he's effectively cooking his base by doing that. So I figured what I would do is instead of setting it through this loop, what I'm going to do is cut this line here, cut the pipe there, and then we'll just bring this around, around here. So, we, we're, so we're putting cold water into the system instead of hot water. And then we'll just cut this off as well. I also noticed he's got some builds going on over here. I think he was going to try to build another radiator through here. My recommendation would be not to do that. And to instead 
kind of preserve this cold biome because there's lots of free food in here and it's just sitting there and it'll eventually just uh, if it kept, if it touches oxygen it'll rot otherwise it should be safe it should be just stored there but we could get in here get all these weasel warts and or some of them grab the free food and cook it up I also noticed he's got up here somewhere here where's his grill let me let me find his grill there's a grill in here somewhere There it is. Okay, so he's got lots of sleet wheat grains. Um, 358 sleet wheat grains that are accessible to make food. So food's not really going to be an issue, I don't think. Uh, there's 189,000 calories. There's only 12 dupes, which is kind of a reasonable amount for the size of this base. So I'm going to speed things up. I'm going to be doing some mopping and stuff too, because we got little bits of water throughout the base. So hopefully they'll be able to get this. Okay, they've detached that. That's good. We are going to finish that off. And really we should be using insulated pipe. Because we want to keep that water cold until it gets into the base. So we'll insulate all the way up to there at least. And the rest of it will go up here. And this should be now cold water going through here into the bathrooms. Which will cool down this whole area, because right now it's pretty darn hot. Uh, but I want to fix this power, because we're just bleeding. We're just bleeding natural gas up here. I want to fix that right away. So we'll do a few priority nine things here. So we'll put a smart battery here. And we'll hook it up. Uh, I think we'll use probably copper. And we want that connected here. And then the automation, let's just do this. We're going to do copper along here into that smart battery and we'll connect it into this other natural gas generator. And then we'll set the smart battery to go 50% to 100%. Which basically means the natural gas generators will only kick in when the battery drops below 50%. And that'll save us a bunch of natural gas, because right now we're just it's just all burning off. And now that it's all hooked up, I think we can safely turn this on and turn this on. And just check the automation here. So it's it's off right now because the battery's full. So we're not burning any more bat gas off, which is good. And then up here we've got all these batteries here. I, I'm kind of not a fan of just ex excessive batteries. You're probably going to be okay with just one smart battery. So we'll get rid of those. Those are just generating heat. They're not really helping. I guess if we had a brownout, they would be useful, but we'll try to avoid that. We got lots of natural gas stored in these tanks here. In case of, uh, in case we need them. And I noticed up here, we're doing the same thing with hydrogen. We're just burning it off. And we're not really... We're burning it off without any kind of automation. So I'm going to try to fix that as well. I think for that, I'll do the same thing. We'll put a smart battery right here. And hook it up to this for now. And then put some automation from here to this one and this one. That'll conserve all this natural gas that he's got stored up instead of burning it off. Now I'm going to turn the showers off because they kind of cause the dupes to waste time. We've got three bathrooms here. I just noticed both of these doors are open. This could cause a problem. Uh, actually, if they come in here and leave that way, that yeah, should be okay. We are generating oxygen in the base here, which is kind of a problem. This thing gives off 70 degree oxygen. If you go into the oxygen thing here, electrolyzer, and hover over oxygen, it says it'll be at least 70 degrees or hotter. Now, it's probably not the end of the world, but we probably want to move this to a place where we can cool it first. Instead of doing it right inside the base. I've done this in the base before, and if you have enough cooling, 
it's okay. Which reminds me, I'm gonna turn some setting, change some settings here. Uh, game, we don't wanna save all the time. I'm gonna save every 10 cycles because it's a little bit slow. You can disable the water coolers um, and they'll still work, so we'll do that. Do a bit more mopping here. Now in here, I think we're out of dirt. I think that might be the problem. Soil, dirt, there's 10 kilograms of dirt. Okay, yeah, so we're out of dirt. But that's okay, I think we got lots of free food down here, which we're gonna try to get. There's some down here that I kinda wanna get before it gets ruined. I think I might do a little bit of digging down here to bring this level down. Actually, let's bring this ladder down first. They're gonna get hypothermia going in here, but that's okay. Let's let this leak down to this little hole here. I'm gonna to try to collect all this water down down here and then clean this up a bit and then hopefully get down here and get some food. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get cold, but hypothermia is not the end of the world. It doesn't last that long, it's not too bad. I kind of want to build a wall here somewhere so we can get in here safely. So we might go down here. Kind of like this. We got some overheating. That's that's this pump here. That's okay, because we're not probably not going to use this. Turn these showers off. Now rewiring the whole base with all this heavy watt wire that could be a challenge because uh, it's kind of everywhere, and it's kind of running through the central corridor of the base. Bit of a job to rewire all this, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get through it in one episode. The other thing I noticed is the schedule. So we've got everyone in one schedule. So what I would probably do, what I usually do, is create two more schedules that are just offset a bit. So we'll notice the downtimes here. We'll actually do th maybe three. Ah, uh, two is probably enough. Two hours of downtime or two blocks of downtime. Three bedtime slots. And then one bathroom time. And then we'll put uh, put some of the dupes down here, schedule two. And then we'll do it again, but we'll offset everything a couple more slots. I just like to put everything work first, just so I can see what I'm doing. So we'll offset those there. Two downtime, three bedtime one bath time and then we'll move some more dupes down there to schedule three this will re reduce contention on the bathrooms so that they're not all using the bathrooms at once and we could probably get away with just having these two bathrooms and maybe get rid of this one up here it's not really harming anything though so we'll probably just leave it let me double check my automation here so that's off because the battery's charged, that's good. So this hydrogen will never get wasted. That should help conserve stuff. Gotta keep an eye on food. Lice loaf, mush fry, I think we're okay. Let's double check that water now. So the water's coming in now at 15 degrees, making its way up here and this should, yeah, it's getting nice and cool here. Beautiful. This is what we like to see. Lovely, okay. Now we're feeding these fish algae. I think we're pretty much out of algae though. I kind of don't want to feed them anymore. I'm going to stop feeding them. 
it is a source of food, but now that the population is at this level, it will stay at this level as long as they, uh, you don't need to feed them. They'll kind of perpetuate. So this will be a source of meat and uh, shells, which you can use for lime. Now basically, whenever I build piping, pretty much always I use insulated pipe because of things like this. So we've got 41 degree polluted water coming out of here. I'm actually going to stop turning slime into algae as well. We'll disable these. We could actually grow some mushrooms somewhere. If we had some CO2, we could grow some mushrooms uh, using that slime instead. If we find a cold spot. Cold spot, cold spot that's full of CO2. Hmm. We could do it in here. It's pretty nice and cool in here. But it is heating up. We could build like a little U shape. And then the CO2 would kind of collect in there. Would you look at this? Look at all this food in here. And we got a nullifier in here. We could use it for cooling. Kind of want to poke in there. Oh, we already have. Okay, so let's uh, let's get in there. I'm gonna do some mopping as well. Don't really need that food right away, but might as well get it accessible to them. And we can grab some of these weasworts. There's too many weasworts in here at the moment. So we can come in here. We're gonna go. Up through here somewhere, maybe up here. I'll use granite. There's probably more granite around than sandstone. Priority seven should be good. So yeah, we'll grab this. Free food in there. Get over here. Grab this. And we could also grab all this ice and dump it in our water tank and start cooling it down. Which could help quite a bit. Probably just continue this ladder down here. All the way down. And get this. All this food. Look at it all. It's just everywhere. Okay, I won't, I won't do that because I want this one to be preserved. All this wild food is a great thing. And look at it all. Yeah, he was worried about food, and yet there's just so much food. Oh, we got infinite snow here. I might build a bit of a U-shape here in this kind of temperate area. Actually, let's zoom out a bit. Maybe we have some nice food growing areas up here. What's this temperature? Too hot. So many ice biomes. Beautiful. Okay, this steam vent, I might actually cap this off or, or at least insulate this area off. Because we've got this oh, 80 degree water, uninsulated pipe, where is this going? Oh, this is going down towards the bottom to power the whole oil thing. It's 80 degrees and then it turns into radiant pipe. I don't know why he's trying to cool the water here. I'm not really sure. There's no need. And then down here, I'm going to turn this thing off. Maybe. Maybe. Because there's all this free oil we could use up first. And all this natural gas, it's just kind of going to... It's just going to kind of float up eventually and maybe pollute our base. I guess this isn't really harming anything at the moment, so maybe I'll leave it. Yeah, it's probably okay. And this oxygen is for 
those exosuits down there and the hydrogen should be going up here somewhere oh wow piping I can't complain because my piping is usually really bad too okay where is this going this is <laughs> this is supposed to be just hydrogen I think but we got oxygen in there where did that come from got all sorts of things and then it's going up here there's natural gas in there there's all sorts of things in there <laughs> where is it going all the way to the top and then out into the oh wow okay hmm I suspect this was supposed to be for net or for co2 but everything is in there. We're sending oxygen out into space. What the heck? Okay. Sending all sorts of stuff out. Okay, where's all the CO2 coming from? Oh, we're making a vacuum down here. Okay, but what are these guys doing? Oh, I forgot to cancel all that, okay. They can go over there. It's not really hurting anything. We'll clear that up. Take that Weezord out, we can use that. There's even more food down here. <laughs> Endless food. Yeah, that's probably... I'm probably going overkill with the food here. We don't need all this. Just yet. That should be accessible. Let's make sure everything is set to be farmed. If I can remember how to do it. Harvest plants. Okay, these are all set to not harvest. We'll change that. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is what dupes do. They like to get trapped and kill themselves. I don't know why. They have little death wishes. Gotta keep an eye on them, make sure they don't get trapped. Some kind of geyser here, I'm not sure what it is. We could use the cheat and see what it is. It's a natural gas geyser, oh, okay. That could be useful. Okay, instead of using liquid locks, he's used uh, regular locks here, air locks, which is going to be a little bit leaky. Uh, and these are extremely slow to go through all the time. So it slows them down quite a bit. I'd rather use a liquid lock here for these natural gas geysers, but... I mean, because this is always grabbing all the air all the time... Where is this going? This is all being pumped out here. Oh, he's destroying that. Okay. Yeah, we got a carbon skimmer here. That's going to give up a lot of heat. Let's see what we got in the portal. No more dupes, that's for sure. Sand. Oh, wow. That's really not what we needed. Should I attempt to rewire this? Um, hmm. Usually what I do is I build a corridor that the dupes don't go into way off to the side and then from there I just branch off. We got lots of water, 80 degree water. I think I'm going to turn this pipe off 
we don't want this hot water coming out of here anymore. Disable that. Where is this water going? This is for, oh, oxygen down here, okay. Which we kind of need for the exosuits. But I think we'll be okay for a bit here. 80 degree water is fine as long as it's insulated pipe, so let's do that. We're gonna insulate, insulate this pipe. I'm gonna run it through the ground, and through the tile instead, a little bit cleaner. And I think there's actually water on top of here that you can't see. Yeah. Mop that up. I'm not sure what this room is for. It maybe was gonna become a food room. Okay, now that that's insulated, I think we can safely remove this. Maybe use a plumber. I did realize some of the dupes don't have jobs yet. So they've got like Mima here. We could do a little bit more skilling up, I think, even though morale is really low. Same with Turner. But we'd leave the rest for now until we get morale up. Research, by the way, is pretty much completed. All the research except for the space stuff. So don't need to worry about that anymore, which is good. Okay, how's temperature in here? Better. It's getting there. we got to move the power generation outside of the base. It's kind of, um, it'll eventually heat up this whole area. I could use this area here. It's quite insulated already. Oh, we're using granite for insulation. Igneous rock is better. Oh, it looks like we had some casualties here. Hassan, Harold, Ashcan. Oh, may you rest in peace. Okay, I'm going to move the power generation over here. Tuck it in the corner back here, I think. And insulate it off. Yeah, we'll do that. This will be... Do we want to insulate it off? We don't want it all seeping into the base. That's kind of the bad bad thing. And we'll have to cool it at some point. We could use some of those weasel warts we just got to do that. Let me take this out. So I think I'll do natural gas generators right back in here. We could do a power room as well. Three is probably enough. Smart battery to control it. The smart battery doesn't need to be in the power room, so we'll put that maybe over here. We got quite a bit of iron. I think I'll use iron. And then we can retire these because they're pretty close to the base right now. trying to keep this heat out of the core of the base. We don't really need this filter either. It's not really actually Yeah, I don't think we need this anymore. I think this might have been there's might have been some other liquid in here. I'm going to deconstruct that cuz it's just giving up a whole bunch of heat. So we'll cut that pipe. And we'll just send that clean through. And I would try to actually use up all most of this water. 
Uh oh. Suffocating. Okay, I think they're gonna be okay. Really need a liquid lock in here. Maybe we should do a liquid lock. Just real quick. On this end. Then we can get rid of these doors. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, no oxygen in here. I actually don't want to send them through here at all. Let's, uh... Let's make an alternate way for them in here. Instead of going through this natural gas room all the time. I think I'll do that. So that door is locked. We're going to make this one way. So they can only leave for now. Only let them out. There we go. Get them all to safety. That one I'll deconstruct, I think. And then we'll go in, in here a different way. And while we're at it, let's mop up this crap. Okay, so that's that's locked. We'll go, we'll go this way instead. What's the temperature like? Not too bad. I already got a ladder here. Let's continue on down here. Oh, there's a mushroom there. Mushroom. <laughs> Okay, we'll let that drain into here. I think we'll let it drain kind of both ways. So that we can safely go down here without letting all the liquid pile in there. I'll get rid of this door. And then we'll... I don't know what we'll do about this. We'll probably just lock this door or make it so no one goes in or out. This natural gas at, is at 57 degrees and it's actually coming out of the geyser at like... 150. So this should have been insulated, but we can't insulate it at all. So I think what I'll do is insulate party six. We'll insulate from here. And we're actually going to feed it up here. Oh, actually, it'll have to come out of the filter for first because there might be other crap in here. Yeah, so filtered output actually is going up this way, then up that way. Oh yeah, and then it's going out of this into the storage. Oh boy. Okay. Um <laughs> gonna change this up a bit. Is this insulated? No, let's make sure it's insulated. So up here. And up through there. And before we connect it up, I think I'll drain all these tanks first. We actually don't need all these tanks. In fact, we can get rid of these. It's a little bit overkill. Trying to clean things up here. So all the natural gas will end up in here. And once we've drank, drained all this out, we'll swap over. Let's get some automation hooked up here. Set the battery at... Uh, Fifty hundred. Or we listen to them build. 
What a wonderful sound. Yeah, we don't want this... This hot gas is just heating up this whole area, which is really not good. <laughs> Look at them go. Probably want to probably want to insulate this too. Okay, what else, what else can we be doing here? Uh, how's the food? Oh, the food has actually dropped quite a bit. We need dirt. Uh, maybe there's some dirt out there that we could do. Grab. We could grow mushrooms. If we're quick about it. If we had some CO2 area. But really, I just want to get this free food that's in here. And make sure they're doing frost. I don't think they're doing frost loaf. What's going on here? Frost buns. We've got a thousand sleet wheat grain. But no one's cooking it. Let's make this priority nine. No one is cooking. Let's make sure we have a... Let's make sure we got a chef. Who can actually do some cooking. Okay, we're going to set digging down. Sh that's up. Oh, we got sick dupes. Cleared of slime lung. Oh no, we got slime lung somewhere. Oh, we do have some. What do we have in the storage bin? We have everything in the storage bin. Oh my goodness gracious. Got polluted algae in there. <laughs> oh. It's a mess. I kind of don't want any of that, even the Shine Nymph. Just realize we're never going to clear these tanks if I keep filling them up. So maybe uh, I will cut this line here. Now we're going to lose a little bit of natural gas out of here, but that's okay. And we'll wait this, wait till this kind of piles up. And we'll try to burn off all this natural gas in an efficient way. And then once it's all burned off, we'll, I'll get rid of all these tanks, I think. And we'll maybe put a couple tanks here, right beside the natural gas. And then we'll eventually need to send that CO2 somewhere. And I might send it up into space, because that's a good way to get rid of it. Or we could send it to the scrubber. Well, it looks like they're doing some infinite mopping here. Where is this water coming from? Oh, up here. Okay. Mop the, mop the source, not the... Uh, There we go. We also probably want to get everyone into snazzy suits if we can. We got a decent amount of reed fiber. We could make a few snazzy suits here. And I gotta find a place to put mushrooms in. I keep saying that and then I don't do it. But we don't really need it. We should just put another grill in and make uh, tons of frost buns for now. What's being made here? Soggy feet. Gristleberry. We can do that forever. Barbecue. Do that forever. Fried mushroom. Do that forever. Okay, and let's go into their consumables and make sure they don't eat the raw food. 
We don't want them eating meat directly. Actually, they might not be able to make barbecue, so... But if we have mushrooms, they can make fried mushrooms, so no sense eating regular mushrooms. I really need to cap this geyser. It's causing a lot of, uh, a lot of strife here. All this hot, hot stuff. We eventually want to cool it, but... This one I'm going to cap, I think. But we can't go in there without them burning. Oh, they're in exosuits right here. Okay, that's safe. We can, we can just cap this off. We don't need this right now. We have so much water to go through. Okay, we're going to cap it. Let's do it like this. Should be able to build all that. Oh, I wonder what this is over here. Cool steam vent. Oh, we don't need that. <laughs> Eventually we might want to tap this, but not until we have a way to cool it. Like, either using a bunch of wheeze warts. Or are they going to get stuck in there? No. Yeah, either using a bunch of wheeze warts or a nullifier. Okay, let's take this, this out. So they can actually build it. Should keep it all trapped in there. And I can't believe we're at 40, 42 minutes in, into the recording already. Okay, this one, I think I'll do something similar up here. We'll cap this along. Actually, I need that to get up there. Just want to insulate it all, and then probably go up this way instead. Yeah, we don't need that heat spilling all over the place. The best place to send this super hot water is to oxygen generation because it's going to kind of delete some of the heat. How many wheeze warts do we have? Only one? I thought we had a whole bunch of them. Hmm. Okay, we got natural gas coming up from here too. <laughs> because of this thing. Okay, we used up all the water. Good, that's kind of self-regulated itself. And we got tons of oil around here. That's going to last quite a while. We'll probably move the pump down. But yeah, we, we use up all the regular oil first and then when it's gone, we can turn this thing back on. Okay, I gotta make sure... Oh, we got oxygen in the air here we're using. That's okay. For these things. Okay, what are they grabbing? Fossil. That's fine. We could use this nice cool water instead. But that it's actually better to use hot water. Okay, this, this line here should be insulated the whole way. 
Actually, it's safe to turn this back on. Going to try to do a bit more insulation here, though. Try to keep that heat in there as much as possible. And now we can cap that off. Basically anything that produces heat I try to keep outside of the base. Uh, which could be hard in this instance. Okay, I think we need another cooking station. They also cook faster if they have light, so we could put light above all these things. Furniture, we could do a ceiling lamp over here. I think that would reach, or we could do a lamp. Right here. Maybe make this one out of gold. Okay, who's suffocating? Oh boy. Camille. You are stuck. Wake up. Don't don't give up yet. Nope. Red alert. We won't lose a dupe. Get out of there. Okay. High stress. Is that Camille? Of course. <laughs> Probably shave this down a bit. Get all this water in there. How's our water cooling doing? It's coming out at... 16 degrees. Kind of want to get down to this food as well. Might put a few tiles here just to block this a little bit off. And then I'd probably insulate this area off just to try to keep this area written nice and cool. But yeah, we got tons of food in here. Don't think we really need this airlock here. I think it can safely go. Not really doing anything. I think we could t put some mesh tile here to save them walking in the water. Oh, what do we have here? Heavy watt wire. Okay, get rid of that. Flooding. Okay, we can fix that. Got a lot of ice in here. And we're sending all sorts of stuff. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, natural gas. 
all out into space. I think I'm going to stop that activity. Or maybe I should talk. I'll, I should stop it at the source. So, what are we doing here? Why are we sending everything out here? We'll get rid of this. And... Why are we sending why are we sending this all into space? It's good stuff. We only want to send CO2 into space. I'm gonna actually get rid of a lot of stuff here. We'll scrub the CO2 and everything else that's useful. We will use for something. Oh, this piping. <laughs> okay, the CO2 is coming back around here, and then it's ending up here, being scrubbed. That's actually good. I don't know what this is doing. It's actually getting rid of the CO2, but that's not really useful. Actually, it's not doing anything. <laughs> it's just sending it. What the heck is this doing? Filtering oxygen. What? The heck? Okay, it's... <laughs> There's just too much going on. What I would probably do is just rip out all the piping and do it from scratch, but don't have time for that. This, this pump is not helping. What I would probably do is filter out natural gas and send it off to be burnt. Because now we're sending it into the base. That's bad. Let's let's get rid of all this. Yeah, I'm just looking a little bit cross-eyed at all this stuff. <laughs> I think I'll cancel that there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And I'm kind of, out of running out of time. But I think I solved two of the big issues, which was temporarily fixed uh, the heating issue. This area has come down in temperature a lot, actually. Now, eventually, this ice biome will heat up. But uh, we could move a lot of the ice that's in here and dump it in this tank to cool it down. That's one way of dealing with it. But I want to just use up all this water and only have a little bit of water in reserve. And I'd move my oxygen generation outside of the base probably since we have limited wheeze warts. Actually, a lot of wheeze warts are being wasted here. but And everyone's standing around idle now because I haven't given them anything to do. But I don't think there's anything else uh, I'm going to do just at the moment. So. Yeah, I would. Maybe I'll just rip this out really quickly. We can do this properly. Um, okay, where's our. <laughs> here's our scrubber. So this is. We only want CO2 there. That's working pretty nicely. But this line up here, that's going. Oh my gosh, it's all... <laughs> what is this one doing? What is this filter doing? Carbon dioxide, okay. And then it goes up here, okay, what's going... Where is that going in from? Over here, okay. Natural gas out and up there, okay. Everything else goes up here, okay, and then CO2. CO2 goes that way. Okay, that's actually good. 
So all we really need to do is send this line here over into this line and it'll do both things for us. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, it's too much of a mess. I'm gonna leave it there. Slow it down. Um, yeah, I would reroute all of this. I would just rip all this out. Use these two filters. Send the CO2 to the scrubber, send the natural gas to storage plus the power. And insulate everything so that all the heat doesn't leak into the base. And then as a, as a bigger project, I would rip out all the heavy watt wire and stick it in a column over here maybe and then lead off circuits to feed the base with like a two kilowatt conductive wire and then the decor would go way up and I'd also sweep up all the crap in the base because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff and then for food which is rapidly going away uh, I'd probably build another cooking station or electric grill to cook up that sleet wheat because we still have how much sleet wheat a th 1200 units and then I'd grow mushrooms probably down down here in this nice green area I would just maybe pump some co2 in here or make a u-shape and so the co2 can settle this would be a good food growing area because look at the temperature pretty sweet pretty sweet for mushrooms and there's lots of slime on the map still so that's what I would do Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And if you have a base to submit, you can email it to grindthisgame at gmail.com and I will take a look and maybe do an episode out of it. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time.